So far, we have been constructing the pipeline of our completable future in our main method. Sometimes you want to get some data either from your database or your network and just pass it through an already existing pipeline for it to give you a result. Don't worry, I'll explain what I'm talking about. So let's say we have a method here that works on a completable feature. So we have public static void. So it takes in a completable feature, type integer. So let's give it some pipeline operations. Okay, then apply. So we're taking an integer, multiply that integer by five. And apply again integer so over in our main method we have we have a get ready that takes in a feature and attaches this pipeline operations to the feature so in our main method we can have a completable feature This completable feature is of type integer. I said mail. In new, what I would do is to call get ready and pass in this completable feature inside. What this is going to do is to apply and attach these operations to this completable feature. So that anytime I call this completable feature to complete, it actually apply these operations on the integer. So how do I now use this completable feature? If I come over and say completable feature dot complete, so I'm telling it to complete, and because it's of type int, it requires an integer. So we're going to pass in the value, which at the moment is seven. When we come over here, we can run this. And we can see 55. Why 55? Seven comes in and then because we say complete, we're going to run the pipeline operations. We'll first come and say seven times five, 35. Then we we'll apply another operation and say 35 plus 20, which is 55. There we have 55. What if we remove this and run the program? Nothing comes out because this is just an empty completable feature. Now you can have different pipelines. Let's use method references here. To make it a lot cleaner you mustn't use it but i like it so over here i can decide to use get ready or get ready to so i can come and say get ready to and pass in the completable feature this time when i run it you see 3500 because 7 was multiplied by 5 which is 35 and then 35 was multiplied by 100. So I can have multiple pipelines ready to execute and I can apply those pipelines on my completable feature. You can really think out powerful systems you can construct with this. In the next lesson, I'm going to talk on handling exceptions with completable features. You know, when you're doing lessons like this, you might not really encounter exceptions, but in real life, we do have some exceptions. So we will talk on how to handle those in the next lesson. If you like this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, if this is the first video you're watching, there are some videos I've published before this, and it'd be nice if you can catch up 
with the introduction before going forward. 